Hi all, let's talk about how I passed latest SAA certification which is C03 for Solution Architect Associate from AWS. So I'm going to talk about the exam and then since I did this as a recertification, so I'm going to talk about recertification tips, preparation material and uh, tips about how to get it in terms of discounted and then the time cost and my four week plan and finally going to talk about some exam tips. Let's get started. So about the certification, as I mentioned, this is the latest version of AWS Certified Solution Architecture Associate. It's called SAA C03, and it covers four domains, design secure architecture, resilient architecture, high performing architecture, cost optimized architecture. So there is a percentage mentioned for each of these domains. And the intended audience is a person who performs a solution architect role and have one or more year of hand-on experience in designing cloud solution that use AWS services. So this is as per the exam guide, but it is recommended, but you don't have to have this. If you study, you can definitely pass this exam without having a real hands-on experience, but you can practice some labs to get comfortable. So this is the link for exam guide. I'm going to put everything in the description. So this talk about the exam and the domains it has. And um, down the line, you can see a very detailed description of each items in the domain, right? What skills are to be checked in the exam. So you can go through this as a reference guide. So all the four domains are there and at the end you will see a list of services right so this is also a good reference so which key tool technology concept might be covered in the exam so once you are done you can just have a look and make sure you have gone through the training or reading for all of these services moving on about the exam this exam has 65 questions it may vary a little bit sometimes and these are all multiple choice question 50 questions are there that affect your score and 15 are unscored. That means those are the new question AWS try to enter so that they can see the response. But you won't know which, what are those 50 or 15. So for you, all 65 questions are important and 72% passing marks are needed. You will get total 130 minutes to complete the exam. And again, no negative marking. So you should target to answer all the question. You can flag a question and come back to review like any other exam. The exam cost is around 150 USD. There is uh, currently an option for 50% discount, which we are going to talk about later. But in case you have done any other exam, you get a voucher for 50% discount. So you can use that here. And about the questions, my tip is the questions are sometimes tricky and lengthy. So you need to be very careful that you don't spend more than two minutes on one question because otherwise you will run into risk of not going through all the questions. So if you are doubtful, flag the question and move on to next one and plan to come back later. Otherwise, there is a risk of running out of time. Now I want to give you some recertification tips because a lot of folks have already done AWS certification and they are looking to recertify. So this certification is valid for three years. So you have two options to recertify. One is earn a professional level certification before current certification expiry date. Yeah. So, how so if you do that, it will automatically recertify your SAA certification. So that is one way. Another way is if you think professional certification is difficult or you don't have time to go to professional certification, you can again take the associate exam. So that is always an option to recertify. So uh, whichever option you take right so anytime you recertify saa exam if you have a cloud practitioner certification which is active that will also get automatically recertified so in short let's say you have a cloud practitioner and a solution architect certification and you do professional certification it will recertify all the three certifications or if you have cloud prediction certification and you have a SA and it will recertify cloud protection certification. Let's talk about protection material. The main course which I took is Stephen's course on Udemy. It's called Ultimate AWS 
certified solution architecture associate and the duration for this course is around 27 hours but uh, you can speed it up you can based upon your comfort you can speed it up to 1.5 time or 1.7 x like there were some places i was comfortably running at 2x uh, 2x speed so it all depends on you but even if you want to run it at a normal speed or even slower speed uh, that is all up to you but around the course total is like 27 hours this is the course i'm talking about and i'm gonna put uh, put this link now if you see this course is 109 you to me mostly have some kind of uh, discounts going on but one tip which i have seen works well is so on the same thing incognito mode you can see the price will go down because they won't know that i'm the same person and you get a discounted price so see now it dropped down to 18.99 or, or you can find various coupons on the internet and after that it's a aws exam readiness training video this is a free training video from the aws site let me show you so this is the main page for aws certified solution architect associate if you scroll down you will see some resources which we are going to discuss so if you see there is exam guide which we have already seen then there is sample question we are going to talk about that in a minute but this is the digital training which we are seeing the three hours training course so this is free and uh, once you click here you get to aws skill builder and you can start this uh, three hour duration training it's a pretty good training and they keep it uh, updated pretty much all the time and then aws exam guide i have already shown you and i have provided a link here then aws faq so after you are done with the, the course and exam readiness guide there are some things which comes in the exam which is not covered in general courses but a lot of that information is arranged in faqs by aws so this is the main exam page which i have shown and if you see on there the very right you see a faq so ec2 s3 vpc rule 53 rds and sqs these are the important uh, faq for the exam so you can click one of those and you can start reading those there are like a lot but you need to see what makes sense as you are giving the practice exam you will get an idea where to look more then there is aws well architected framework white paper this is also a very good collection of white papers you can read this to solidify your concept in the same website you can see before faq there is the white papers you can click there and it will get you to all the white papers available and you can read those and finally then there is search engine there might be things which you will you see in the practice test which you cannot find directly into one of this link you can just google it and look for the different videos and labs to clarify and solidify that particular topic so this is good enough material for this uh, exam and from top to bottom it's like mandatory to optional right so you definitely need to do the course and as time permits you can go down and do different things to solidify your knowledge about the labs uh, i would recommend you to register for free to your aws account and start hands-on practice as you do the courses aw give you one year of free membership to try out different products and what I see is 90 to 95% of the services you need to practice for the exams are covered in the free tier. So you don't need to worry about that. Um, for the remaining 5-10%, you can either choose to just watch the videos and understand those theoretically. That should be okay for the exam at this point. But if you really want to try your hand on those, uh, be ready to plan to spend like $15-$20. But uh, I would say be extra careful when you do it because sometimes if you keep a service on and forget to switch it off, you may see higher bills. And uh, in the exam, there is no labs 
even in this uh, latest revision so it's all question but having some kind of hands-on experience or lab practice will help you for the scenario based questions so next is practice exam so this is very important because until you get your hand into the exam environment that experience you won't be able to be actually ready and know what you don't know so udemy course has one practice exam so you should definitely once you're done with your course you should try that and after that i highly recommend tutorial dojo practice exam that's a set of exams which you can uh, definitely use for practice and uh, when you start getting 75 percent or more from the practice exam that means you are ready to schedule your real exam so schedule your real exam and after that there is a, a free aws official practice question set which is 20 questions it is very close to the actual exam going back to the again exam web page if you come down to the resources here you will see uh, this one aws certified solution architect official practice set so this is free 20 questions in an exam format right so this is a, it includes 20 questions so 45 minute duration and this is free so definitely try this it's very very close to the real exam and there is another resource which is like um, full exam but that is official practice exam but that comes with the subscription so you need to have a subscription for aws skill builder like if you click this it will take you to the link but there is a subscription which is like 29 dollar per month but this is a real exam like question set where it is two hours 10 minute time you get you get the experience of uh, 65 questions with the time limit of 130 minutes same as exam and questions are pretty close to uh, get of what you should expect in the exam i would say keep this at the end once you are done with all your preparation the next is effort so overall for me it took like 40 to 50 hours of effort and i have split it into different activities or tasks and um, from top to bottom is how i went through first is understand the exam like looking into this website and identify all the domains and material let's say one hour then the exam course right which is like course and lab as i said it is like 27 hours course and for me it took around 20 hours because i was running at higher speed but i think for a, pretty much for everyone 20 25 hours are the good guess and then exam readiness video which i showed you three hours for that after we are done with this first practice test which is like two hours it could be your uh, udemy practice test and once you do your first practice you will get an idea of where you need to learn more and that's a good time to look at some aws faq three to four hours and then aws white papers which i showed in the resources so after that it's time for another practice test at this time we are into tutorial dojo practice test and then post practice test revision key topic revision and then again we do practice test if you are scoring good already maybe at this time either you can do tutorial dojo practice test or if you are planning to buy the subscription for aws skill builder you can try that practice test here and finally the official exam two hours so with this plan you should be able to prepare and test yourself in 40 to 50 hours and this is how i split into my four weeks plan like uh, week one starting slow it was like target to get around nine to ten hours weekdays spending one hour a day and weekend two hours but again this is just a rough idea you can adjust it based on your schedule and same way week two week three week four the time is increasing because i am first able to develop more interest and curiosity for the exam here is a cost split udemy course as i showed i mean with discount options and all you can target to get it around 15 dollars and aws exam fee itself is 150 dollar but uh, you have 50 percent off option for example if you have some other 
exam already given from AWS, you get a 50% voucher. So you can either use that or sometime AWS announces uh, some challenges and they give a discount option. So I publish those details in this channel whenever those are available. So with that, you can get 50% off, then it will be $75 for exam fee. And practice test tutorial dojo we talked about around $15. And in case you are taking AWS Skill Builder subscription, let's say for a month, you get uh, $30 for that. So total, you will be spending $210 or uh, 135 if you are able to get 50% discount on the exam fee. So what happened after the exam? So once you're done with your exam, you may get the result immediately or it may say result will be shared after review. So this is a new thing I'm seeing. There is some kind of review happens before they release the result. Like for in my case, it took around 16 hours to get the result in email. I got two emails with below subject. One was congratulations on passing your AWS certification exam, which is uh, SA. And second email, congratulations on recertifying your AWS certification. That was for the practitioner uh, certification, which I have that automatically recertified. So there was two emails and you will get score you achieved and the section wise score performance. There will be two category. You need improvement or meet competencies. And you get 50% discount coupon for your next AWS exam and some other benefit, for example, linking to AWS community, free AWS sample exams and logos, etc. And uh, congratulations, this certification is valid for uh, next three years. Um, thanks for watching. Good luck for your exam.